So I'm here today interviewing Riley Peel about his ichthyology class. Um, so I'll start off with the question, what is the purpose of your ichthyology class? Well, this year in ichthyology, we're focused on doing a lot of hands-on research with the students. We're doing aquaponics, the breeding of small fish, and the Seacrest Pond Project, which I will talk more about later on. So why don't we just go into that question, uh, what is the Seacrest Pond Project? Well, the Seacrest Pond is a retention pond. You can find it next to the high school building. And in years past, it's been described as a dead ecosystem, which basically means that there's no life thriving in there and it's not a stable ecosystem. So with the class this year, we are working on transforming that dead retention pond into a thriving ecosystem using various different projects. And in the pond, uh, as we've learned in the ichthyology class, there are certain invasive species such as cichl er, uh, cichlids and other things that could damage the ecosystem. What is your plan for dealing with those type of things? Well, like you said, the main issue we're concerned about at this moment are the Mayan cichlids. The Mayan cichlids are an invasive species that were introduced to Florida through the aquarium trade back in the 1950s. Uh, the Mayan cichlids don't have any natural predators here, and they eat fish eggs off uh, their beds. So we're working first before we start introducing species to focus on taking those Mayan cichlids out of the lake. We've done fishing tournaments, class trips, and we plan on doing full school fishing tournaments and stuff like that to remove those cichlids from the ecosystem so we can move forward with creating our thriving ecosystem. So then, other than the pond project, uh, in ichthyology, we are also um, learning about other fish along with taking some different aquariums and stuff like that in the classroom. So what have we already started these uh, first couple weeks of school? So at the first couple weeks of school, we're introducing um, field research to the students. And the goal of what we're doing is to show the students in the class what hands-on marine biology is actually like in the r real world. So we're, we started a research project on how to breed fish for the aquarium trade. We actually just went out as a class and bought three breeding pairs of mollies that we're going to breed and grow up to uh, create an ornamental fish that would be ideal for the aquarium trade. Um, we're also going to be working on how to write grants, how to properly run a research study, and real-world research projects that we can expose to the students. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Hello, Jim Timmerman here, proud Seacrest parent. I uh, just wanted to give a little update here on our pond project and give you a little history about how we got involved with this. Approximately four years ago, Dr. Karen Staples asked me to participate in the Seacrest Science Fair and do a presentation on our ocean habitats, which went very well. We have been doing it now for four years. And the Ocean Habitats Project is what we do is we create an artificial habitat that mimics mangrove roots, that allows fish and shrimp and other marine mammals an opportunity to grow from their juvenile stage up to a point where they can exist without habitat. Uh, as the island was developed and other areas here were developed, the mangroves were taken out and subsequently all of the habitat that was afforded by those mangroves was taken out. So these habitats produce a, an environment that allows uh, that habitat to be mimicked and recreated and for the marine mammals and organisms to grow. Uh, what we've done since then is we have now introduced a new variety, which is, we call it our pond project, and very proud to be working with Riley Peel uh, in regards to this. And what we have done is we have modified one of our ocean habitats to exist in the pond, and we are going to be monitoring, and when I say we, it's the majority of the, the students here at Seacrest are going to be monitoring the growth and what these habitats do. I'm quite certain that these habitats will evolve to a different variety uh, even than what we've done so far and eventually what we want to do is make something that is uh, we can duplicate and use in other ponds throughout Southwest Florida. Awesome, thank you so much for your time.
So another major thing uh, regarding your ichthyology class is the aquaculture system that uh, you created. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? So aquaculture is a relatively new field to marine biology, and it's something that I have personally been very interested in and I wanted to expose to my class. So over the summer, I designed and built a recirculating aquaculture system that we are going to use to grow native species of fish, such as largemouth bass and channel catfish, that we are going to introduce to the pond to stabilize the fish species in that ecosystem. Awesome, all right, thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh,